Hello, this is Wade in 1987. I just thought I'd do another video of uh, basically something that I picked up yesterday and also something that I sent on uh, M12Birds uh, channel as well. Uh, so basically I'll just start off with this. Uh, picked this up yesterday from a, uh, a church sale. Basically they've been having one every weekend now. I've been before but they didn't have anything really uh, any good but uh, this time I found a, uh, a Commodore joystick. Uh, it's the uh, 1341. Uh, it's compatible with the uh, Plus four and also the Commodore 16. Now I don't have either of these, but I am. Um, I mean, it was only 50 pence, which works out about 80 cents in the in the USD. Um, but yeah, it's uh, in really good condition. Um, you know, no scratches, uh, nothing really. But yeah, um, like I said, I haven't got that, so I'm gonna probably uh, stick that on eBay. But um, just going on to what MM12 Bird was. Uh, did a video regarding this, the uh, video games hardware handbook. And I'm not going to go into this one basically because I think he did a really good job of uh, covering all the different uh, consoles and handhelds in there. Um, but uh, I'd just like to add that it's actually uh, the uh, artwork on the front is actually similar to the uh, the Haynes um, manuals that we have in the UK for uh, cars. Um, but I'd just like to show you some ones that came out before this, uh, they did do three different ones before this, I, I haven't got the first one because like I said in my previous video that is pretty rare now on eBay it's going for about £30 but uh, this is the uh, volume 2 one um, which is pretty cool, it's got loads of different characters from loads of different games as you can see you've got Mario, Sonic, uh, you know uh, Donkey Kong, Billy the Bullet, there's loads on there but I just thought I'd show you a quick one of this. Now, un unlike the video games handbook, this actually goes into uh, games as well as the actual uh, consoles itself. Uh, so I'll just show you there. There's River Raid uh, for the Atari 2600. Basically, it just goes through all the history of the game, how it came about, and uh, as the uh, the uh, video hardware handbook goes into as well as the uh, 2600. Uh, yeah, let's just have a look. The same again, perfect 10 games, but. It also has and the rest, which lists 87 games for the 2600, which is pretty handy as well. Because if you are collecting them, uh, you know you can find out what titles there were. I'm sure there's more, but this just gives a little uh, insight into the games. Uh, but like I says, it does it does continue on with the games as well as the uh, as well as the actual consoles itself. Like I says, Paperboy. It even gives you a rough guide price in. Uh, in uh, British pounds of what you should pay for it and it also has a look at developers uh, from the retro games I mean this is Sierra Online and it gives a really in-depth look it's really you know it's, it's a must-have if you can if you can get it uh, it shows you the timeline of them all as well but like I says it goes through loads of different things we've got Robotron, Frogger, uh, quite a long Frogger actually uh, you know the Amiga 500 you know, it does go through quite a lot, uh, Super Bomberman. And then uh, the one before the Video Games Hardware Handbook came out was this third collection. Um, basically, this goes through the ZX81. You know, it goes through uh, this, the history of Zelda. And it's even got the, uh, the Zelda family tree, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it's got Manic Miner. Uh, quite a lot of stuff, uh, California Games, which was made into onto quite a different number of... Uh, Games consoles, it's got the Dreamcast. I mean, it's got loads of different things. It's got developer looks back to EA. Um, they're really good. Like I said, I don't, uh, I think you actually still can get this in the shops, um, you know. Um, but this, like I said, unlike the uh, video game hardware, but this goes through the actual games as well. But, I mean, it's got a Donkey Kong A to Z. It's got, it's got loads of different stuff. Um, I will post more on these because I think they are uh, a pretty good thing to have. But uh, for now, that's it. Thank you.